My name is Sarah Michelle, and this is Simply Golden Girl, where I make sustainability simple from my life to yours. If you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button to follow along. I do a lot of thrift trips, sustainability tips. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram to keep up with what's going on in my day-to-day -day life. Today, we have a super big project that we are undertaking, and I am so excited about it. If you are a returning subscriber, you may know that we have recently moved into a house and so I've been renovating, redoing, makeovering all of the rooms going one by one in my house and this week we have my home office. I am so excited for this. I've always wanted a space like this to really, you know, personalize and make everything feel very Sarah Michelle. And so this is a really, really fun project. The way it turned out, I'm super excited to show you guys. My office is pretty small, so there will be a lot of savvy, small storage solution tips for you. I definitely try and make the most of my space. I'm a very like functional person. So I definitely think a lot of my small storage tips will be very helpful if you plan on redoing your office or a little nook of your office. You don't have to do the whole thing. So for the office makeover, we are going to start with giving the office a fresh coat of paint. So if you're curious as to how I did that, drop any questions below. I'm really excited with how that process went. And I know painting is very daunting, but I promise you it is so worth it. It gives the room a whole new vibe. And then we're gonna be going thrifting to find knickknacks, functional pieces, just a lot of different ways to incorporate secondhand items into my office. It's definitely something I was looking forward to doing, but I definitely did a mix of newer items and thrifted items in this makeover. Because I like functionality, I definitely wanted to pick items that I knew were going to last me in the long run. And sometimes that isn't always a secondhand item. So I'll show you guys what I got new and what I got thrifted. I hope it inspires you to do a mix of both next time you plan on doing a project like this. Stick around until the end to see the final tour and how everything came out. And let's get the project started right now. Okay, so here's the before of my little office space. Um, I just have my desk over here, which I really love the green color of it. And then I had just a clothing rack over there, but I already took it out to start the painting prep process. Um, so this is just the before of all the painting and before I hang anything on the walls. But yeah, it's pretty, you know, it's workable. We got some, some stuff to do, but I have some big ideas. I'm really excited, like a photo op station over here. I want to do another like backdrop over here that I can do that'll be really cute with like a bunch of stuff hanging on the wall. Um, and so yeah. Did make a Pinterest board for this project. Also, if you're not following me on Pinterest, go ahead and give me a follow there. I love Pinterest. So in my home office board, I have some work from home desk ideas, some clothing storage, as well as craft storage, because this is kind of going to be my Depop inventory space, as well as where I do my upcycling projects. I pinned a lot of vertical storage ideas, including pegboards, which I think are super functional. Color and design wise, I think the idea here is light and bright. I like colors, but I don't want them to be too saturated. I also pinned some backdrop inspiration ideas. Other design elements, I would say it's beachy, shabby, chic, which is kind of my general base style. And I actually already have those rattan shades on my windows. And here's one last look at the room before we get started with painting. Hey, the room is fully prepped, taped up, and I am ready to paint. What do you puppies think? Are we excited? Oh. Okay. I think I'm gonna do a wall and then I'll show you guys how it looks and then you guys will see the finished product of the whole room painted. So let's get going. Okay, so I painted one little section of this wall. It only has one coat, which is why it kind of looks dirty because this blue color is showing through. I ended up picking this bare marquee 
as the brand. It's supposed to be one coat paint and primer, so it had really good reviews, but I knew that the color I had chosen was super, super light, and I was obviously painting over a very darker color. But honestly, for one coat, that's still really, really good. And it'll definitely be one coat over the tan up top. So that'll be really nice because that'll take a little bit shorter. So the color I ended up going with is Green Power. Again, this was from Bare. Um, I kind of just went and picked out a bunch of shades of green that I liked. And then this one was like light enough that it was almost a neutral, but still had enough of a color to it. Um, and my desk is green. So I think these will kind of go well together, hopefully. Um, so far, I'm really loving it and I'm really excited. So let's keep at it. Okay, here it is. After two coats on the blue wall and like one and a half on the upper part that was tan, the room is fully painted and I absolutely love how this color looks. It's like, I definitely think once I have all my furniture and everything in here that it's going to be much more of a neutral, like just in the background. It's not a very loud in your face color, so I'm absolutely loving it. Now time to take the tape off and get started on the next part. So to hang up my backdrop wall, I bought these hooks, which are actually garage hooks. Um, so they're really sturdy and they have this rubber coating around them, which I really like the idea of being able, something like being able to roll and have room to like kind of move around there. Um, they were about $7 each. So, you know, like 13, $14 for the two of them. And then I am actually going to spray paint these and make them white because I just think it would look better than this bright orange because it just would stick out like a sore thumb and I think the white will look a lot nicer even if it doesn't really hold up on this rubber. Okay, it only took a couple more coats and I think I'm gonna do one more because you can kind of see the orange coming through. They're actually starting to look really good. So hopefully this lasts. Currently, I just have this little like pillow in here for the dogs. So I definitely want to upgrade this somehow. This is a really cool piece. I definitely don't need it, but it's really cool. I feel like someone out there will appreciate these mushroom salt and pepper shakers. This lamp definitely fit my shabby chic criteria, but I don't really have the desk space for it. And then I realized that the lampshade wasn't really attached. I thought about buying it separately, but then I'd have to put a tag on it and it became too much. So I left it. Sadly, they didn't have any floor lamps. So I just took a look at what they did have. It was cute, but not what I needed. I have yet to find anything good in this big bin of baskets, but I'm hoping one day I will. All right, I'll give you guys a little cart haul. These mugs were cute, but I saw they were part of a set. I love the butterfly wall hook. I can hang purses on it. Once again, I think this is really cool. Maybe I could have made it into a lamp, but I just did not think it was practical enough. So I left it. And it's not something I really needed for my home office.
This candle was super cool looking and I was really curious as to how it would burn, but it was also very dirty. These tapered candles, however, were new. This was a box of scented drawer liners and I thought they were really cute, but pink isn't really a color I needed for my office, so I passed. This was kind of a cool candy dish, but since I almost broke it in store, I can only imagine what would happen once it got home. I am klutzy. <laughs> These wall shelves were kind of promising, but I wasn't sure if I could fit like a purse or anything, like they're not wide enough. So I ended up passing, but honestly, I kind of wish I had gotten them. On to Goodwill. I like this little ceramic floral arrangement. I thought it was kind of cute. Another item I wish I had gotten. This seashell is coming home with me and I'm going to try to make this into a light. It was so crowded, I had to find a makeshift basket to carry my items. Okay, here's my little stash for the day. I found this super cute seashell, which I'm gonna make into a light, which I'm excited, and it was only a dollar, so such a great find. I really like this stained glass teapot. It kind of reminds me of coffee, which I like for my home office. I ended up passing on this. I thought it was too grandma-y, and this other little hanger was just not nice enough. Okay, how cute is this mini pink bathtub? I had to get it, I don't know why. I ended up passing on the ceramic bouquet. It was a little pointy. Sadly, they were having issues with their registers. They were only taking cash and the line was super long, but I was determined to check out with what I did have since I picked it all out and I was really excited. at the before of my home office before we see the final reveal. Okay, final reveal in three, two, one. Okay, starting with one of the cutest items that I bought. This is a new doggy bed and it is flower shaped and it is so, so cute. It's super soft, the pups love it. And it was definitely an upgrade from the pillow that I just kind of had put out there whenever one of them wanted to sit in here. Um, and so that is, it kind of feels like Animal Crossing, which I really, really like. Okay, and then this mirror we just had, it's nothing special, but I hung it up because I wanted a space to be able to check my outfits, especially when I'm using my photo backdrop wall. So that worked. I definitely would love to get a more, a bigger, more grand mirror back there. But for the time being, sometimes you gotta work with what you got. Moving on over to one of my most functional pieces. I don't know why, but I love pegboards. I think it's because they use vertical space very well. I don't have a lot of accessories for it right now, um, but I do have some items hung up. I plan on getting thread holders off of Etsy. There's like people who 3D print accessories for these. I think 
this will be really good for my sewing supplies to kind of have those vertically. And so I can also see everything. If it's in front of me, I'll use it. If it's put away, I completely forget about it. So that's what I also love about these pegboards. They are from Ikea. I just got two. They were super easy to hang and put together. Um, so if you've been thinking about it, I highly recommend getting yourself some pegboards. Going over to my desk area, well, Going over to my double desk area, which I absolutely love this because I never have enough table space. Um, so this has been really great for me. Um, so we'll just start bottom up, I guess. So this rug, we had actually bought this for something else and I wanna get a different rug, but I think this really works for the time being. I like the blue, it goes very nicely. This velvet chair, I actually got off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, it's super cute. And then my blanket, I just keep there because I'm always, cold. I'm, I love having a blanket on me at all times. And guys, look how good the green goes with the green. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but it goes really well. It's super subtle. Over here, I have this bowl that I thrifted on our little <laughs> thrift trip. My, oh, let's turn this on. This is a piece of pottery that my mom made. And then this is just my salt lamp. And this is like, these are coasters. I use these both as coasters. This one is for my Ember mug that keeps your coffee warm. So I love that and it's very simple. And then I have some other knickknacks here, the little teapot stained glass. I absolutely love that. My S and a little succulent. <laughs> Okay, and then these items, I thrifted the butterfly hook together on our thrift trip. And then these two items I actually had previously from my old apartment. This table is so nice because I'm someone who likes function. I really wanted something that I would be able to pull out and be and have more space and then be able to make it less space. And I also like the idea of being able to use this to film videos because I can move it around. It's not up against a wall. I find this to be super functional for what I was looking for. So I got this off of the Michaels website and it was super easy to put together. Um, and I'm really happy, like I said, sometimes you have to purchase things that you know will work. I know that this was an item I wasn't gonna be able to find secondhand. Really great functional purchase. I love the storage drawers beneath it as well. Over here we have our little closet wardrobe, which is why I'm calling this my office, a closet office. I've seen other people use that term before and I definitely think that's fitting here. So this bar is actually from Ikea and I was really worried it was gonna be flimsy because if you've had experiences with Ikea, it goes one way or the other. So um, I wasn't really sure, but I took a chance because I really wanted something mounted onto the wall. Um, I like the idea of it being more floating and having shelves above it. That's eventually something that I would like to do. It definitely is sturdy enough to hold all of my outfits. I just have a couple of my really like springy pieces that I kind of wanted to showcase because it makes me feel very inspired to like put together a rack like this. So I love that. And then this piece I got off of Target and it is also on wheels so that way I can move it if I need to, or if I want to use it somewhere else, um, or if I want the floor space down there for some reason. Um, that's why I chose to get a lot of things on wheels, just in case I needed the space, since I am in a smaller space. If you can tell, a lot of the newer stuff I ordered was also all white, which is another hard thing to find secondhand. So uh, another piece I'm absolutely loving, and it allows me to showcase some of my favorite items and really, again, charges me creatively. Okay, and then next we have our backdrop wall, which I was super excited about this and I love how it came out. I had originally started looking at some of those kits that you can buy online where they do have more of a twist down function and there's like a pulley. I didn't really want something super complicated and I really felt like I could recreate the same effect. So again, I took to Home Depot, Lowe's, one of those hardware stores. I got these garage hooks and a PVC pipe and voila, we have a backdrop wall. Um, I also picked up some of these clips because then I can clip on different backgrounds. And I also think that I could store multiple backgrounds up there because of how big the hooks are. So this was a backdrop setup for under 13, let's say under $20. That's pretty good, especially if you're trying to start reselling on Poshmark, eBay, Depop. A consistent backdrop on your profile page is definitely something that 
when people are going to buy, they look at, they look at the quality of your pictures and having a consistent backdrop is definitely something that takes the quality of your profile up a notch. So I would definitely recommend looking into seeing if you can find garage hooks and PVCs to make something similar. Check if you're going to be drilling or screwing into studs. Um, but these came with drywall screws that can hold up to like 40 pounds. So uh, once again, a very easy backdrop for a beginner. And let me show you how it works. So all I'm gonna do is grab my PVC pipe down. And I actually like the look of a white fabric backdrop. Um, I'm looking into like vinyl backdrops that don't have, that don't wrinkle. Um, but this is, again, this is so easy for a beginner to do. So all I'm doing is draping it over my PVC pipe. You clip it in. like to steam this. This is so, so simple and so much more effective than all the ways I had originally tried when I first started reselling to make a backdrop. I would usually just like balance an item on top of the sheet somehow and it was like finagled or like in a door corner, I would close it and then if someone opened the door, my whole setup was ruined. So I'm really happy that I finally upgraded and I definitely think it's something worth considering if you are a reseller. I just took the zoom in a little bit on my camera so that way you can see what the setup looks like at a closer angle. My room is definitely big enough that I can set up my tripod on the other side and it has ample space to take a full photo around the item as well as even incorporating shoe or long dress pictures. But that was something I tested when I was making this setup so if you are thinking of doing this in a smaller space set up your tripod make sure that in all the zoom angles you can actually fit into the frame but otherwise you should be good to go okay guys i hope you really enjoyed this video i had so much fun making over this office it is so fun to me to get to put my touch on a space that I'm going to be living in. I really put my heart into creating this room because I wanted it to feel inspiring to me every time that I walked in and it definitely has that effect on me. So I say follow your heart when designing and you won't go wrong. Even if it feels like you are picking things out of an Animal Crossing game, if that makes you happy, go for it. I also hope you love the backdrop wall. It was definitely a fun project for me to do, challenging, a little out of my wheelhouse. Um, but seeing as that I'm a reseller myself, I wanted to see how can I put together a backdrop in my room that I can use, take down, put up, and I think I accomplished that. So I hope that it will inspire you to check out Home Depot, a hardware store, for similar items to put together a backdrop under $20. I hope I was also as transparent as I can be about what items I purchased new and which items I thrifted. I do like to incorporate secondhand items as much as I can, but sometimes you have to buy something new. And I think the items that I picked here were very mindful, quality-based items that I knew I was gonna use time after time, and they were really gonna work for what I needed them to do. Now, my office, I would not say is complete. I was really trying to push myself to do even more, but as a new homeowner and for anyone alike who is decorating a new apartment, a new room, anything, it takes time. You're not gonna find everything all at once. And sometimes you have, just have to be patient for those perfect items to find you, whether that be secondhand or new items. So be kind to yourself. I'm trying to be kind to myself because it's hard when I feel like, oh, I wish I had gotten a different rug or shelves or something because this already feels so much better. Every time I'm walking in here already, I wanna create, you know, whether it be content or crafts, I really just love how inspiring and how me this space feels. So I hope you guys had fun coming along with me, painting, thrifting, and decorating. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can follow me in my next adventure, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much, bye.